guys and welcome back to QC Makeup Academy's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick sort of review and overview of part B of Nathan Johnson's makeup workshop. So stay tuned if you want to know what was involved in unit B and how I went. So the focus of this unit is smoky eye and pinup. They're definitely my two most favourite eye looks. I do them on myself all the time and I absolutely love them. So assignment B1 it was just the classic smoky eye. So what you had to do was create both a black smoky eye and a grey smoky eye. I definitely had the most fun with the black one. I just think it's such a classic look to a smoky eye. And it's something that I love to do on a regular basis. So I had so much fun watching Nathan's video on how he did it and his little tips and tricks. I definitely took a lot out of it and I look forward to using it on myself and in my own makeup tutorials. So the first thing we had to do was take a before photo of your model's eyes. I did do it on myself just because I found it easier and I didn't really have anyone else to do it on. The great thing about this course is that you can do it on yourself so I found that really helpful. So the things that he was looking for most in this assessment was blending precision application. I learnt a lot from the precision part. I took a lot out of what he said about precision. Because you definitely want your eyes to be identical. You don't want to have one that's blended a little bit more further out than the other. Because then differences can definitely change the shape of your eye. And I love that he taught me how to really get them to be identical. Another thing is that every eye shape is different. So the smoky eye has to be different on every person. So I definitely learned a lot out of this one. So once you've done all you had to do was take a after photo of your eyes closed and then of them open. Obviously because the smoky eye is going to look different when they're closed and open. But overall I really enjoyed this part of the unit. The classic smoky eye is something that everybody needs to learn if you're becoming a makeup artist. So I did find it extremely helpful. Even though I already am a makeup artist, you can definitely always keep learning more and more. So assessment B2 was the reverse smoky eye. And this one was really great because with the reverse smoky eye, it starts out in the lid and then you build it up and fade it out as it comes out to your crease. And that's the look I try to achieve nearly every single day in my daily makeup routine. So I did really love this one. I did really love having a play around with this one and trying out new colours and techniques. And like the first classic smoky eye, what he was looking for in this was blending precision application. I think that the most important part of this look is definitely the blending. When you're coming up through your crease, you want that. You don't want to have any harsh lines or it's just going to look awful. So I think it was really great that he showed us how to perfect blending. So assignment B3 was the classic pinup. So ideally what he wanted to see was a more traditional pinup look. I love the pinup look. I think it's amazing. I love doing a huge winged liner with big false eyelashes and a classic red lip. But for this one he did want it to be quite classic. So I had to try and stop myself from doing a huge winged liner. But that's why I was glad we got to do it in the next assessment. But with the classic pinup look he was looking for trademarks, clean application and precision. You've got your really subtle winged liner. You've got your classic red lip and your bold brows. I think tying them all together really looks amazing. Also the precision part was so important. That's why I loved how he showed us how to fix up our mistakes. I know personally I struggle with putting on a really perfect red lip myself or anybody else. That's why I like how he highlighted how important it is for it to look perfect because it being so bold is obviously going to stand out and that's the first thing people are going to notice. So I liked how he showed us how to fix that up if we made a mistake. Assessment B4 was the dramatic pinup look and this is where I'm meant to be. So this look obviously became famous because of the beauty icon Marilyn Monroe. She rocked this look for so many years and I think that's why so many girls love this look. So you could keep it classic or you could modernise it for myself. I modernised it because that's what I'm like. I had a really large crisp winged liner, huge false lashes and a really hot pink lip. That's just me expressing who I am and my personality through my artistry where someone else might really want to keep it subtle with the classic red lip. I think that this was a really good assignment because you can really express yourself through your artistry and that's exactly what I did. I decided to modernise it where someone else might show their personality through a really classic subtle look whereas for me I like to be vibrant, I like to be bold and that's why I thought this was a really fantastic assignment to end on. You're really showing Nathan who you are as a person through your makeup. So that's all that was involved in Unit B of Nathan Johnson's Pro Makeup Workshop. Thoroughly enjoyed these assignments. They were so hands-on. You really got to get into it and express yourself. And that's really what you want when you're studying makeup. Trying to learn what type of an artist you are. I love the fact that with Nathan, even though I've studied makeup before, I've worked in makeup for years, I'm still learning from him. And he's showing me new tricks every time I watch his videos. So 
I'm still in love with this course. I think it's fantastic and I hope that you guys are enjoying it if you're doing it. If you are interested in trying it out yourself or you just want some more details, definitely check out qcmakeupacademy.com. All the links will be listed below. Their Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And also my YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter will be listed below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy doing these videos and I hope you enjoy watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day or night and I'll see you next time. Bye.